హైదరాబాద్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ కన్వెన్షన్ సెంటర్ హెచ్ఏసీసీ ఇవాళ హైదరాబాద్ లో ఏదైనా అంతర్జాతీయ సమావేశం సదస్సు నిర్వహించాలన్న విఐపిల పెళ్లిళ్లు జరగాలన్న ముందుగా గుర్తుకొచ్చేది హెచ్ఏసీసీ పేరే రెండు వేల మూడులో ఏషియన్ డెవలప్మెంట్ బ్యాంక్ ఒక బ్యాంకర్ల సమావేశాన్ని భారత్ లో నిర్వహించాలనుకున్నప్పుడు అప్పటి ముఖ్యమంత్రి చంద్రబాబు నాయుడు దుబాయ్ కి చెందిన ఎంఆర్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ కు నిర్మాణ బాధ్యత అప్పగించారు ఒక ఇంటర్నేషనల్ కన్వెన్షన్ సెంటర్ ను అంతర్జాతీయ ప్రమాణాలతో నిర్మించమని అలా ఆవిర్భవించిందే హెచ్ఐసీసీ హెచ్ఐసీసీకి జోడు జంట ఆభరణంగా వెలుగుతోంది నోటెల్ ఐదు నక్షత్రాల హోటల్ ఇక్కడికి వచ్చే టూరిస్టులకు ఆతిథ్యాన్ని కల్పిస్తూ సో ఈ హైదరాబాద్ బ్రాండ్ కిరీటంలో జంట వజ్రాలుగా వెలుగుతున్న నోటెల్ హెచ్ఐసీసీ ద్వయం వ్యాపార విశేషాలు వ్యాపారం ఎలా సాగుతోంది ఇక్కడ టూరిస్టులకు కావచ్చు లేదా విజిటర్స్ కావచ్చు ఎటువంటి అనుభూతిని ఈ నిర్మాణాలు పంచుతున్నాయి ఇలాంటి విశేషాలను మనతో పంచుకునేందుకు ఉన్నారు టీవీ మధుపాల్ సీనియర్ డైరెక్టర్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఫర్ హెచ్ఐసీసీ మధుపల్ గారు మీకు హైదరాబాద్ ఒక మంచి వ్యాపార అవకాశాన్ని ఇచ్చింది ఒక మంచి అప్పుడు హైదరాబాద్ కి మీరు ఎంత కాంట్రిబ్యూట్ చేస్తారో ఇక్కడ బ్రాండ్ హైదరాబాద్ బిల్డ్ కావడానికి ఒక బ్రహ్మణమైన కన్వెన్షన్ సెంటర్ ని క్రియేట్ చేయడం కావచ్చు లేదా ఒక మంచి హోటల్ ని ఇక్కడ స్టార్ట్ చేయడం కావచ్చు అయితే అదే సమయంలో హైదరాబాద్ కూడా మీకు ఒక మంచి వ్యాపార అవకాశాన్ని ఇచ్చింది సో ఇక్కడ లోకల్ కమ్యూనిటీ కావచ్చు ఈ సిటీ కావచ్చు మీ వంతు మీ వంతుగా కార్పొరేట్ సోషల్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీగా ఎటువంటి చర్యలు తీసుకుంటున్నారు కార్పొరేట్ సోషల్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ అనేది ఇట్ ఈస్ అ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ విచ్ లుక్స్ ఇన్ టు ఆల్ దీస్ యాక్టివిటీస్ అక్రాస్ ది వరల్డ్ ఇన్ ఆల్ ది హోటల్స్ ఇక్కడ హైదరాబాద్ లో మేము హోటల్ స్టార్ట్ చేసినప్పటి నుంచే వి హ్యావ్ ఇన్వాల్వ్ ఆల్ అవర్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ ఇన్ టు ది కాస్ కార్పొరేట్ సోషల్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ వీ హ్యాడ్ అ గ్రూప్ డిస్కషన్ వీ హ్యాడ్ అ బ్రెయిన్ స్టార్మింగ్ సెషన్ దెన్ సెట్ ఓకే వాట్ షుడ్ బీ బి డూయింగ్ సో ది what came out of that entire discussion was that you know we should do something amongst the hiv and aids affected people so we have identified an ngo called nirikshana and we support that ngo uh, every month each employee contributes 100 rupees so with this 100 rupees we uh, support 100 children who are affected by uh, hiv when i say affected by hiv probably they are not affected by hiv but their parents are Oh. since their parents are you know their uh, earning levels come down so the children will get affected while we support them tarata i oka 100 families kuda memo support them we give them nutritional benefits so looking at what the employees have been doing mm-hmm. we have identified that there is a need for this uh, this activity mm-hmm. so we have been doing that and 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 we have been and then we came up with an idea of setting up a project which will train the ladies to self support themselves mm-hmm. and uh, it is called the malika sewing project no. so the akor foundation has till now contributed almost 50000 euros in setting up that project and running that project i put it over ko our project lo almost uh, 60 ladies have been trained you know to do some from simple stitching mm-hmm. to complicated embroidery which they can sell mm-hmm. and we also help them in selling mm-hmm. so malika swing project tone uh, oka production unit kuda ipudu set up chestam anamata oh. so the, the ladies who are trained here they can go and work there so entha mand ladies in train is we have already trained 60 oh. the next batch of 15 are being trained now mm-hmm. so that is an ongoing process for us mm-hmm. and we have a regular interaction with them okay. we go there our employees interact with the people over there we they, they also have a clinic Nice. So they give them uh, medical facilities. So we help them in maintaining the clinic. Mm-hmm. We have bought them uh, equipment to diagnose uh, HIV because, as you know, you know uh, when they go to the government hospitals, it takes some time. True. But by the time you know the uh, results are uh, out, mm-hmm. probably it is a little too late for the person to start taking those antiretroviral uh, treatment. Okay. So this equipment that we have given to the uh, NGO, mm-hmm. it helps them in identifying the disease at an early stage, and so immediately the treatment can begin. so that the quality of life the length of life can be increased and employees na me to pay chestuna almost 650 or so employees na so employees ko sign chestan ante employees normally ga meeriche emoluments or whatever compensation daniki thoduga adananga etondi welfare activities tisukuntaru and the activities that we undertake here are apart from giving them the medical uh, insurances 
uh, the accident uh, group accident insurances. You know, the we we have regular uh, sports activities for them. Mm -hmm. Uh, staff canteen lo every month of a food festival also mm -hmm. so the antlo gada wallu participate yes sir uh, the, the employment employee engagement activities ani memo annually we do a employee survey a survey lo chino feedback kuda memo implement yes sir Nautil as an employer brand uh, in order to showcase all our activities, uh, we have to build an employer brand, employer branding. Dan Gurunchi, we have participated in the Great Place to Work survey. Yeah. Accord internationally is positioned at the 17th rank mm -hmm. as the best multinational company to work for. Oh. And uh, Accord India, we have been participating in the Great Place to Work survey. Uh, for the last two years. Mm. The first year we were placed in the first 100. Nice. And uh, the second year we found ourselves in the first 50. Oh. Along with that, uh, we were also ranked 7th for rewards and recognition segment. Great. And we were the only hospitality uh, company in the first 50. Congratulations. So, uh, I would say, like, you know, we are, as you said, you know, whatever we are doing, yeah. it is kind of a continuous service improvement process. Mm -hmm. So. Even our employee branding, mm -hmm. I'm sure the next year we will find ourselves in a better position. And it's no more like we uh, have PFS now, ESI only, our health insurance only. It can't be only change in the way to employees. Those are all taken for granted. True. And uh, the, uh, those are all statutory things mm. which you have to complain. True. They are more like uh, maintenance things. Mm. And the uh, e company PF is only, our company PF is only, and that is not really the thing. And uh, apart from that, even if uh, we look at the salaries and wage, wage, wage structures, mm -hmm. Accor believes in positioning themselves between the 75th and 90th percentile mm -hmm. of the A1 who is survey. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, so we are not saying that you know we are the best paymasters, but the facilities that we give, the opportunities that we give to our uh, employees, our associates, mm -hmm. is what attracts them. Okay. That is what builds the employee brand. So maybe Rabai Rosalamiru, the best place to work in India. In Land India. Thanks, <laughs> Adhis Tarani. That would be our name. Right? And uh, we wish you all the best, uh, Mulpal Yaru. Uh, Thank you, sir. Brand Hyderabad Samadhanchi, Nautil and uh, HICC, Chala uh, contribute Chesai. Brand Hyderabad ki, uh, recognition raudan ki, worldwide, not just in India, worldwide good thing raudan ki. So, ide, Jeel to, ide passion to, meir mundhuk saagal ni, brand Hyderabad, marinta, one ni tisra avali me kuru. Thank you. No hotel, le cafe la unna manu. Chal chakkati cafe vata unna unna ikla. Mantho unna aru prashtho unna Rasika Singh. She is Director of Sales and Marketing, No Hotel and HACC Andhra Pradesh. Aam nedigi, asal, ee saunstar prarambhi na pundi nchi business theory ten lela unna. Evi vyoorustar na nki. Hi Rasika, how are you? Hi, thank you. So, No Hotel has and HACC have not just enhanced the reputation of Hyderabad as the best convention destination. But uh, they have also helped Hyderabad to have a very good brand building exercise. Uh, since the beginning of uh, No Hotel and HACC, uh, did uh, the business here meet your expectations? What uh, you have foreseen and how the two entities are performing here? Uh, how is the uh, matching of the expectations? Well, in terms of uh, Hyderabad as a destination, uh, what we expected and where it is today, it has superseded our expectations. So it has done better. Uh, Hyderabad has a lot of history, has a lot of culture, and has the most amazing cuisine. So those are some of the things that actually enhance and, and get people here, uh, which makes it more interesting for people to visit Hyderabad. Okay. Normally people say that no hotel food is excellent, fantastic. So how do you maintain that uh, uh, cuisine expectations? The, uh, do you mix both local and uh, the Indian and the continental food or how is the mix? 
the mix largely depends on who our customers are. We always try and give them, if it's an international guest, we always try and give them something which is more local, at least try the local cuisine. Yes. Uh, the food here is very spicy, so we do mellow it down. But if we have uh, an event or we have a function where a lot of people from the region are coming in, then we, we have chefs who specialize in that. So we do a mix of both depending on who our client is. And coming back to the business, some of these local issues, mm -hmm. of late there are so many turbulences happening here, the bifurcation issue, and the general uh, economic uh, slowdown. So how are they uh, affecting your business here? Well, uh, I've been in uh, Hyderabad for some time. And on a personal level, I've really not come across any major uh, agitation or anything that affects my day-to-day -day life. Uh, in terms of an international business, uh, it has not affected us as much. Because you take care of both because sales and marketing. That's right. When you uh, go and try to market your product here to the to your customers, say international mm -hmm. customers, so what is their perception about Hyderabad? Um, well, the good thing about uh, Hyderabad is the Nizam. So I think he's he's marketed Hyderabad very well. So uh, the awareness about his jewelry and his lifestyle and his cuisine is there. So um, and when we do an international conference, uh, the present day scenario does not affect them so much because the event is primarily two years or three years down the line. So today, when I discuss business on an international forum, I'm discussing 2020, 2018. Uh, my business locally is affected more with the current uh, feedback that goes from the media. And the travel from within the country into Hyderabad, that has reduced and that has affected us. So uh, normally there, there are so many uncertainties these days, be it the uh, political scenario or uh, the local scenario. Uh, how can you assure them that this place will be a peaceful place and you will enjoy your stay here? Well, even in the present scenario, we invite them over uh, to come and have a look at the city. We do take them around the city. Uh, we've got supports from various sectors as well. So getting them over and making them see it for themselves that it is fair, it is peaceful and it is not what uh, is perceived, uh, is, is perceived. Yeah. Uh, yes, that helps us. Mm -hmm. So that's how we market it internationally. Normally, a place like, a business like this will take so much of time to break even. Uh, convention center, I think, uh, will take at least five years to break even. Uh, we've already uh, cleared most of our, uh, our loans and debts, okay. uh, so we are fortunate. Actually, we started at the right time. So operational break even, you have already achieved. Uh, yes. Uh, well, ongoing costs are still there. Um, for us, it's about on a on a yearly basis, it's about 35 percent break even is what we look at. Uh, with the present market scenario, with the new hotels coming up and uh, elections around the corner, yes, the interest in terms of foreign investments into India is a bit slow, plus the global recession is impacting us. But since we started early, we were the first uh, of its kind uh, in the present location. Uh, we, we were fortunate enough. Do you foresee any competition coming from uh, yeah, unexpected quarters? Uh, the competition for uh, HICC, yeah. uh, that will take a couple of years for it to come in. Yeah, yeah. Because and there, there are other small places like the convention or Shilpakala. Uh, they're not really competition for us. When I compete internationally, I don't compete with them. I compete with a they're Melbourne. Yeah, I compete with a Melbourne uh, or a Dubai or a Frankfurt okay. uh, convention center. Mm -hmm. So my competition is more global. Uh, in terms of the hotel part of it, yes, my competition is local. And uh, all the other hotels that have come up, new inventory that has been added into the city, uh, that is definitely competition for me. How is the calendar looking like, say, uh, two years down the line, three years down the line? Uh, you have connected a lot of uh, many big events, like uh, the Asian sure. Development Bank issue, That's right. the Biodiversity Commission. So, Henceforth, how is it going? We have many such conferences in the pipeline as well. We are doing a conference for general surgeons very soon. We are doing the largest conference on cancer research uh, very soon. So we do have a lot of international conferences, medical ones uh, especially happening here with us. So next two years in terms of international events look stable for us. Unless until uh, there is some 
unforeseen circumstance that happens and that affects our business. But it looks healthy. It's not what it was two years ago, uh, but yes, it is, it is healthy enough. So it has come down to a certain extent? Uh, the number of events, no. But in uh, price-wise, India has become a more uh, economical destination, I would say. And how is utilization? Uh, what is the idling of uh, idling away of the time? Uh, I mean, uh, number of days that the center, the convention center is idle. We do about 70 percent utilization of the convention center. No. The rest, 30 percent, uh, we actually need it at times to refresh the convention center to give it a rest. Mm -hmm. We do conferences for, for 9,000 guests at times. So it does need its, uh, any, any product would need a rest. And How do you really cope up with such a surge in demand all of a sudden? 9,000 people accommodate 9,000 people uh, at a stretch is a huge task, a humongous task. I have a very good team. Uh, my operational team is fairly strong and, and they know what they're doing. Uh, such a large number is definitely a security concern. So. Um, the, the local police comes and helps and uh, we also get help from our security here. Um, the first time for me was a bit of a shocker. I have now seen so many people together at one go. Mm -hmm. But my operation teams is very confident. Mm -hmm. they, they just save it through. In terms of customer satisfaction, uh, do you get any... Uh, but I haven't met a dissatisfied customer so far. Okay. And I'd like to keep it like that. Okay. Yeah. And any expansion of the present infrastructure? Uh, the uh, well, we are renovating our rooms, we are refurbishing our rooms. Mm. Uh, the convention center, as and when we have time, like I said, we sell two years out, so uh, any major uh, in change in that is not possible. Mm. So it has to be done in phases, which is an ongoing thing which we do. We are coming, we are planning to come up with new F&B outlets and add more cuisine uh, variation to what we presently offer. Mm. So. And finally, the or uh, management is happy with uh, uh, the business and uh, whatever expectations they had while setting up this infrastructure here. How, how is their uh, uh, satisfaction level? They have been fairly uh, supportive. Uh, they understand the challenges we face and uh, they are very forthcoming uh, and a lot of things would not have been possible without their support. So uh, as far as the management goes, uh, it has been fairly supportive from them. We've not faced too many challenges or uh, issues with them. So. Thank you, Rasika. We Thank hope you. Uh, you'll bring a lot of uh, international prestigious conventions to Hyderabad and uh, big brand Hyderabad uh, internationally successful. Thank you so much. I hope so. Thank you. ब्रांड हैदराबाद की रेटों को जोड़ो जरा लगा वेलवन तो ना हैदराबाद इंटरनेशनल कन्वेंशन सेंटर मोटेल प्रचेक्टल गुरिंची सबसे लोग गुरिंची ये वालों सोरे इंटरनेशनल ब्यूटीफुल एंगल तेल्स